Okay, this question we have x is less than y is less than 0. So let's plug in a couple of numbers here. See what happens. x is negative 2, y is negative 1, and 0 is 0, of course. What happens? Well, let's go to a. a is y plus 1. Here's negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Is that less than negative 2? Boom, no. b, y minus 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Is that less than negative 2? Uh -uh. c, x, which is negative 2, times y squared, which is negative 1 squared, which is 1. Is that less than then x, well x is negative 2, this side is also negative 2, nope, because that e those two equal each other. D, we have x, which again is negative 2, times y, which is negative 1, is that less than y squared? What is y squared? Negative 1 squared is 1, this side here is negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2, 2 isn't less than 1, so it's probably going to be e. And we have your x, again, x times y, we just did that a second ago when we looked here at answer choice D and we got 2. And then we look here, what's x squared? Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 is greater than 2. That's the only one that works out. Just by picking those two numbers, we can arrive quickly at the solution.